this facility 14. Just as soon as he gets his helmet off, we will be sending it down to Dr. Jerry Punch and getting a quick word with Sterling Marlin in the winner's circle. Well, he won here last uh, July. Here's the McDonald's winner's circle interview with Dr. Punch. Sterling trying to get unhooked out here in Victory Lane, trying to get the earpieces out and uh, gets a big cold uh, bottle of Gatorade handed to him. We'll try to get his earpiece off and a big smile from the Kodak film driver. Hey, Sterling, how about that one, my friend? Great effort. Man, I tell you what, oh, with all these Kodak guys, uh, they done a great job. Runt standing right there, he built us a heck of a motor this thing. And uh, we felt like we left one laying on the table at Daytona and uh, that we come down here and test it and test it, test it, test it, probably run 1,200 miles. And uh, all the credit in the world goes to the Kodak crew. Thanks. You had to like the fact that you saw those guys racing side by side to three and the five and left you just to beat uh, Dale Jarrett. Yeah, it did. You know, when I saw him get back there uh, side by side, and I think it was four laps to go, I figured that we might could pull off and uh, get away from him. But if they ever got lined up, uh, there's me running 10 mile an hour faster when he got us. But it held off, and uh, man, we're just glad to be here. I tell you, it feels great. From the back to the front, three different times, Sterling Marlin picked up his first win of 1996, and he is the winner here at Talladega. Sterling Marlin wins at Talladega Super Speedway. And we head for Sonoma, California, Friday qualifying. Next Saturday night, the Featherlight Budweiser 200 at 12.30 a.m. Eastern. Then NASCAR today at 3.30 next Sunday and the St. Mart Supermarket 300 live at 4 o'clock Eastern time. For Ned Jarrett, Jerry Punch, John Curtin, and Bill Weber, I'm Bob Jenkins. Thanks for...